administration is touting a $1.4 billion increase in NIH funding in FY19. Um, is that correct? The total is $34.8 billion plus um, $750 million of opioids, so I think the total add would be about $1.5 billion, if I remember, off, the, um, off of the CR. I okay, believe. so the opioid number, that 750 is something new and a new yes. responsibility, so that's not an increase of the, it, of the existing budget of NIH based on their current responsibility. That's giving them something new and dollars for something Well, no, they, they, they're they very focused. I mean, opioid and pain, addiction treatment, that, that's all part of the core mission of NIH already. This, this is additional funding for them. Um, and then um, it's just not assigned to any institute, so it's kind of, um, it's out there, so it's It'll unclear where it's going. It'll enable the director actually to prioritize, which I think is the best way to do it, that kind of flexibility. Um, also, um, the increase seems to include $255 million for occupational safety research that's currently at the CDC, so that would be moved over from the CDC, is that correct? That's right. The National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, we believe that its research mission best aligns with NIH and then can be part of that. I think a lot of synergies I'm, there for working okay. together. Um, I'm just, I don't have a lot of time, so I just want to make sure you get through all this. The um, Moving that over, that actually has an existing budget, so you're moving that over to the NIH, but that's also part of this increase, but it's not really increase. You're just moving it from the CDC over. Um, and then there is also um, $380 million for healthcare quality research um, that's currently at HHS that is also proposed to move to NIH. Mm -hmm. Again, isn't that something that would be moved over that um, has an existing budget you're just putting under NIH now? And the, yeah, the, the, the Agency for Healthcare Quality Research also does move over as part of the budget proposal. Um, so, uh, so really when we talk about the budget, and I just want to be clear, these are the numbers that we have. Um, the National Cancer Institute um, budget decrease, National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute decrease, um, National Institute of, of Dental and Craniofacial Research, a decrease in funding, National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, a decrease. Um, most of the national institutes actually see a decrease in funding, and, um, and some of the numbers that you have here actually just are movements of um, responsibilities that are all, were in other parts of HHS, moving them to NIH. So if we're really going to talk about NIH being a priority and increasing um, its budget, which I agree with, I don't think this does that at all. And so I hope we'll be really straightforward about the numbers going forward and prioritize the research at NIH. I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Keller. You're recognized. I thank you, Chairman.